I hope that it will help uh, the, the not just the first team but the young people who play football here and the visitors feel pride in being part of this great team. Yeah, it's a good name. I came up with it, so it's a good name. <gasps> Look, it's so pretty. Wow. The iconic stadium, some, some people will smile um, when they mention that they're coming to the iconic stadium because when you get here, yeah, it is an impressive ground, but it's, it's not the San Siro, you know. It's not White Hart Lane, it's not Anfield. For us, Binfield, this is the iconic. And this is a name that I'm hoping is going to stick here for years. And it's, it, it's a hugely exciting thing for the club. We know firsthand how special it, youth football is to give young people the opportunity to try a new thing, to build, uh, to build you know, a team connection and learn to work in a team and, and really try to get the best out of themselves and each other. So to be able to contribute in some way to doing that for a club like Binfield is it just it feels great. This is one of the biggest pitches in the league. Is it? So um, you can have it 100 yards wide and 100 yards long, but you can't have it both at the same time. Right. Uh, so, so is this wide or long? Um, it's both. So the, um, the penalty area is 44 yards wide. That, that doesn't change. But the, the distance that changes is the one from here to the touchline and from the penalty area to the halfway line. Right. So this, I think, is... And I always count on my steps because I... I compare it to other, to other pitches. So this, I think, is 17 wide. And we've actually brought it in, haven't we, this year? It was 19, which is very, very wide. You can, you can do things. So I played a few games in European competition. And when you play in European, against a European team in one of the FIFA, uh, UEFA competitions, you've got to be allowed access to the pitch the night before. Right. So then every team goes and trains, and they can do that. And a few years ago, they had to change the rules because Rangers, under Graham Souness, they let the team train on this say Tuesday night, Wednesday morning they narrowed the pitch uh, and brought it in by about three yards either uh, side and the team turned up and went, hang on, <laughs> this is not the same pitch. So they had to change the rules to do that. Yeah, I, I don't tend to like to sit down. I'll tend to do this. I'll, be, I'll just walk up and down and just, I can't, I can't stand still and I'll, I'll do this and then I'll do that and just standing still. I must be a nightmare to sit behind, to be honest. So you have to, you have to stand... You have to stay inside this box. If you come out of the box, you can be, you can get a booking for that. Oh, right. And that's when, so I got sent off once because I um, had an argument with an opposition player and I stepped forwards and then he threw the ball at me and I ducked and I took a step forward and he sent me off for encroaching on the pitch. <laughs> but he sent me off and the dressing rooms were over there. And I looked at him and I said, so what do I do now? He said, well, you have to go off. I said, well, I can't go there. That's where the fans are. And I had to walk all the way around. <laughs> Because he said, you can't go on the pitch because I've just sent you off for encroaching on the pitch. I would, I would stroll up and down. I'm much like Gary, I can't stand still. So I'd just stroll up and down. I wouldn't stay in the box either. You do get used to it. And there are some times where you'd be watching and it'd be that and it'd be that and you get to there and then you go, where's the box gone? And you think somebody's moved the box. Surely you should just make the box bigger. Um, there are some, it depends on the stadium and, and, and where you are and, and different, um, there are some that are quite long, but I think, I, I don't know if there are regulations. Again, I was saying to Andy, it feels like a real privilege to be in a position to be able to support a local football team. And uh, over the years, admittedly it wasn't this club, but when our son was playing football for all those years, we really enjoyed it. We really enjoyed being part of youth football. So, uh, and he came to tournaments at Binfield FC and we've got fond memories of it. So being able to contribute to other young people, getting the opportunity to have a go at something that they might just really, really love, it's, uh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a nice community. It's about people. It's about kind of, you know, interacting with them. So yeah, it, it, it will be really good fun. The really exciting thing now is that um, because Iconic have come forward and basically 
purchase the naming rights um, of the ground, we are going to be called the Iconic Stadium. And actually, that's a really powerful um, name for the, for the football club. Our junior members are going to absolutely love it when they're getting ready to put their boots on before they leave home having their breakfast or whatever, come here on a Saturday or Sunday morning and the mum and dad are saying, right, we're going down the Iconic because we're going to go and play football. <laughs>